the deal is, and it's kind of like a magician's tradition, the deal is that if I get it wrong, you get a fiver. Okay. I know it's not much, but it's kind of like, you know, it's a bit embarrassing. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, we'll put okay. the, my new lovely watch there. What I want you to do is just type in any three digits and then hit multiplies. Yeah. Uh, and any three other digits. And this time we do something different. I'm not going to link now, but what I'm going to ask you to do is think about any time of day. Yeah. So it could be one that means a lot to you. Usually quite nice, something you can remember from the past or something like that, but it doesn't have to be. But as long as you remember what the time is. Yeah. The important thing is uh, hit equals afterwards and not multiplies. Okay. All right, so you've got another load of digits and then hit equals after you've put the time in and remember what time you put in there. Yeah. You done it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so it looks like it's kind of worked because I get to keep my fiver because the final number is 33,231,348, yes. which is handy because that matches the serial number on the five pound note here, which is 33231348. Three, three, yes. <laughs> right. Which would be good, but what was it? Just, uh, just, just, I mean, what was the, because I actually, I don't know if you saw, I was doing something to my watch before I even put it down, which before you actually thought of the time you were going to say, and the, the watch has been there all the time. So what, what was the time that you said? Quarter past three. The quarter past three, and you'll see that it says that on the watch. Oh my God. That's <laughs> fantastic. That's bonkers. That's amazing. How, how did you do that?